Hi friends, it's Mrs. Dahlman at the Ed and Nancy Hannenberg Children's Advocacy Center, and today we're going to read, You Are Special. The Wemmicks are small wooden people, and all of the wooden people are carved by a woodworker named Eli. His workshop sat on a hill overlooking their village. Each Wemmick was different. Some had big noses, others had large eyes. Some were tall and others were short. Some wore hats and others wore coats, but all were made by the same carver and all lived in the village. And all day, every day, the Wemmicks did the same thing. They gave each other stickers. Each Wemmicks had a box of golden star stickers and a box of gray stickers. Up and down the streets, all over the city, people spent their days sticking stars or dots on one another. The pretty ones, those with smooth wood and fine paint, always got stars. But if the wood was rough, rough or the paint had chipped, the Wemmicks got gave dots. The talented ones got stars too. Some could lift big sticks high above their heads or jump over tall boxes. Still others knew big words and could sing pretty songs. Everyone gave them stars. Some Wemmicks had stars all over them, and every day they got a star, it made them feel so good. It made them want to do something else and get another star. Others, though, could do very little, and they got dots. Poncinello was one of those. He tried to jump high like the others, but he always fell. And when he fell, the others would gather around and give him dots. Sometimes when he fell, his wood got scratched, so the people would give him more dots. Then when they would try to explain why he fell, he would say something silly and they would give him more dots. After a while, he had so many dots that he didn't want to go outside. He was afraid he would do something dumb such as, such as forget his hat or step in the water. And then people would give him another dot. In fact, he had so many gray dots that some people would give him one for no reason at all. He deserves lots of dots, the wooden people would agree with one another. He is not a good wooden person. After a while, Punchinello believed them. I'm not a good Wemmick, he would say. A few times he went outside, he hung around with other Wemmicks who had lots of dots, and he felt better around them. One day, he met a Wemmick who was unlike any he'd ever met. She had no dots or, scar or stars, and she was just wooden, and her name was Lucia. It wasn't that people didn't try to give her stickers, it's just that the stickers did not stick. Some of the Wemmicks admired Lu Lucia for having no dots, so they would run up and give her a star, but it would fall off. Others would look down on her for having no stars and would try to give her a dot, but that wouldn't stay either. That's the way I want it to be, thought Poncinella. I don't want anyone's marks. So he asked the stickerless Wemmick how she did it. It's easy, she replied. Every day I go see Eli. Eli? Yes, Eli the woodcarver. I sit in the workshop with him. Why? Why don't you find out for yourself? Go up the hill, he's there. And with that, the woman who had no stickers turned and skipped away. But will he want to see me? Punchinella cried out, but Lucia didn't hear. So Punchinella went home. He sat near the window and watched the wind people as they scurried around, giving each other stars and dots. It's not right, he muttered to himself, and he decided to go see Eli. He walked up the narrow path to the top of the hill and stepped into the big shop. His wooden eyes widened at the size of everything. The stool was as tall as he was. He had to stretch on his tiptoes to see the top of the workbench. A hammer was as long as his arm and Punchinello swallowed hard. I'm not staying here, and he turned to leave. And then he heard his name. Punchinello? The voice was deep and strong, and Punchinello stopped. Punchinello, how good to see you. Come and let me have a look at you. He turned around slowly and looked at the large bearded craftsman. You know my name? The little woman asked. Of course I do. I made you. Eli stooped down and picked him up, and sat him on the bench. Hmm, the maker spoke thoughtfully as he looked at the gray dots. Looks like you've been given some bad marks. I didn't mean to, Eli. I really tried hard. Oh, you don't have to defend yourself to me, child. 
I don't care what the other women think. You don't? No, and you shouldn't either. Who are they to give stars or dots? They're Womex just like you. What they think doesn't matter, Punchinello. All that matters is what I think, and I think that you're pretty special. Punchinello laughed. Me? Special? Why? I can't walk fast. I can't jump. My paint is peeling. Why do I matter to you? Eli looked at Punchinello, put his hands on those small wooden shoulders, and spoke very slowly. Because you're mine. That's why you matter to me. Punchinello had never had anything or anyone look at him like this, much less his maker, and he didn't know what to say. Every day I've been hoping you'd come, Eli explained. I came because I met someone who had no mark, said Punchinello. I know, she told me about you. Why don't the sticker stay on her? The maker spoke softly because she has decided that what I think is more important than what they think. The stickers only stick if you let them. What? The stickers only stick if they matter to you. The more you trust my love, the less you care about their stickers. I'm not sure I understand, he said. Eli smiled. You will, but it will take some time. You've got a lot of marks. For now, just come to see me every day and let me remind you how much I care. Eli lifted Punchinello off the bench and sat him on the ground. Remember, Eli said as the Wilmick walked out the door, you are special because I made you, and I don't make mistakes. Punchinello didn't stop, but in his heart he thought, I think he really means it. And when he did, a dot fell to the ground. And that's the end.